everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's story time before we get into it make sure you are subscribed to the channel give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and turn on your post bell notifications to make sure you are notified every time i upload so let's get into it y'all don't know what i'm finna title this video but just know this is another pick me story time and if you don't know what the first pick me story time was with the girl well actually i got a couple so go watch the one where i was talking about my best friend and how she told people i was like my bra, whatever i'm gonna link it um somewhere i'm gonna probably put, put it somewhere in the screen and then the other one okay so remember i was telling y'all about delilah the girl i used to work with okay so this is not about her but this is about somebody else at that same job and now that I think about it, it was like a pattern with these girls at this job. But anyways, let's get into it. So, for the second video, we are going to name the girl Nisha. And we are going to name the two guys. I'm going to just give the two guys a name, their names, whenever they come up in the story. Just so I don't confuse myself because I almost just said her real name. Okay, so this happened after the delilah story and if you don't know what that story is go watch that one and then come back to this one it don't have like no direct correlation but you should still go watch it um i forgot what i titled it i'm gonna link it somewhere so this happened after delilah because remember i told y'all after all of that stuff delilah just never came back to the job like she never ever i never saw her ever again right cool so because she left or whatever we needed somebody else to fill her position right so they hired a new girl her name was Nisha. And y'all, Nisha was so cool. Like, we was, like, a little bit closer in age. Because remember I told y'all Delilah was, like, a little younger than me? Which I was still young. Like, whatever. I think me and Nisha was actually, like, the same age. So, she was cool. She was very nice, very sweet. We would hang out, like, sometimes, like, on our lunch breaks. Like, we would go get lunch together. If, like, we got off at the same time, we would go eat after we got off work. Like, it was cool. Like, she was very, very cool. I trained her. We was close. Cool. But I wouldn't consider her a friend, right? Just, like, a cool ass co-worker, right? Cool. So, one day I come into work and she was like, what you doing this weekend? I'm just like, nothing. Why? Because, y'all, I never really, like, used to, like, go out for real. Especially not to, like, clubs and bars and shit like that. Well, I couldn't go to a bar because I was only 19 when I was working here. But, yeah, like, I never, you know, like, the night scene when I was living with my mom, I just never went out. So, I'm just like, girl, nothing. Probably going to be in the house. Why? So, she telling me, like, you should come out with me and my homegirls this weekend. Like, it's this one party going on at this one club. Like, it's going to be so much fun. Da, da, da. So, of course, I'm the type of person. Who all going to be there? Like, who, like, what's the party? Who all going to be there? Where it's at? Da, 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 da. So, I'm asking her all these questions. She's telling me it's going to be here. My homegirls, like, they cool. Blah, blah, blah. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. So this was like, she probably told me on like a Tuesday and we was going to go on like a Friday, right? So I remember that day I had opened up. So I got off early because I needed to, you know, like go home, do my hair, get dressed, put my makeup on, shit like that. So I think she either did not come to work or like she didn't have to close. So like we was good. We wasn't going to be like pressed for time or nothing like that. So she like come over to my house. We're going to pregame before we go out and blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay, cool. So I go to my house get dressed get ready i head to her apartment right so when i get there she opened the door and she hugged me and you know like it, everything is cool like oh my gosh you look so cute like you look so pretty i'm like girl you look good too blah, blah blah so i walk in and i'm a very like vibey type of person like the energy in the room i can always sense if it's good energy bad energy right like i'm an empath the vibes just was not vibing how they were supposed to be vibing when I walked in the apartment. Because, like, okay, so I walked in and she's introduced me. Like, y'all, this is my friend Lauren. I don't know why she said friend. She should say co-worker. My friend Lauren, remember I told y'all, the one that I was working with, blah, blah, blah. Like, she real cool. She cute. Da, da, da. I don't know if, like, I just be picking or if this is, like, a real thing. Like, you tell me what you do. Because I be expecting me from other people. Like, I'm very bubbly. Like, when I meet people, I'm happy. I'm smiling. Like, I'm upbeat. When she introduced me, I'm just like, hey, y'all. And it was just giving, hey. Just like that. Hey. I'm just like, it's stinking here. Like, 
I don't like that. Like, and I don't know if it's because, like, I mean, like, granted, everybody does not have, like, an upbeat, bubbly personality, right? Like, that's not everybody vibe. But you can tell, like, when it's just, like, like, you don't even have to have a bubbly personality to just be like, hey, like, hey, girl. It was like, hey, just like that. So I'm just like, I'm not even going to do too much. I'm not going to put 20 on 10. I'm going to have a good night. Like, I don't even know these girls. Like, y'all don't owe me nothing. Cool, if you want to act like that, bet. It is what it is. So, cool. So, we start on um, taking shots. And I'm driving, number one. I drove to her house, and I plan on driving to the place because I don't like riding with people. Because when I be ready to go, I be ready to dip. Like, I don't want to wait for you. I don't want to go. No, no, I'm ready to go home. So, I'm going to drive my car, and that's just what it is. But, like I told y'all many a times, I was not a drinker back then. So, I took two little baby shots. And... The shots was so little, you could consider both of them combined one full shot. I didn't even want to take that. So, I'm taking the two little baby shots and I'm chugging water. Like, after. I even, like, ate, like, a slice of bread because, like, I don't want to be tipsy. I don't want to be drunk. Please don't drink and drive. Do not drink and drive. Do not drink and drive. Do not drink and drive. Okay? I know that was my bad. But you're supposed to be better than me. Not like me. Be better than me. Right? So, I'm just like, because I don't got time. I want to get pulled. Oh, no, 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 no. So, here's another thing. I don't know if I should consider these, like, red flags or what. Like, y'all tell me what y'all think. But, okay, so, we cheers it, right? Because, you know, everybody was, this was when Snapchat was, like, very, very, like, everybody on Snapchat all day, every day. I don't use Snapchat like that unless I want to use a filter, but whatever. Snapchat was, you know, everybody on Snapchat. So, we cheers in. You know, like, cheers in the shots on Snapchat. And they was acting like they didn't even want to, like, reach over and, like, cheers with me. I, is that me picking? That's picking? Or, like, that's weird. Or, like, I would it, be, it would be, like, me and Nisha, like, in a Snapchat, like, come on, girl, like, let's do blah, 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 in a Snapchat. And then they would call her over there to be, like, in her Snapchat, in their Snapchat. Am I picking? Or is that weird? Because, like, I was trying to, like, you know, like, do Snapchats with them, and they was acting like they didn't want to, like, look up from their phone. Like, okay, I feel like I'm picking, like, saying that, but y'all tell me what y'all think. So, anyways. So, um, what was I saying? Okay, we took the little baby shots. Yeah, whatever. So, we walking out the house. Oh, I'm talking too fast, y'all. I'm talking way too fast. I'm sorry. So, before all of this, let me go back to when we at the job, when we on the clock. She always used to tell me that, um, because she had a group of friends that was girls and guys, like, combined. Like, she had a big group of friends. She was a social butterfly. She was always telling me that she had a crush on this one guy in the friend group, right? But she would never tell me, like, who he was, what his name was. I never seen, like, how he looked at this. She would just always, like, say, like, my one friend, I want to be more than friends, da 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 So, I'm just like, um, is he going to be there, like, when I come out with y'all, like, this weekend? This was before Friday. So, she's like, yeah, he going to be there. I'm like, girl, I got you. Like, you just need, like, a little bit of liquid courage. I'm going to be, like, your wing woman. Not wing woman in the sense of like i'm gonna go say something to him for you but like i'm gonna like hype you up like girl like go get your man right keep this in mind was she was crushing on this man crushing really 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 hard like this is all she would talk about i'm thinking this is gonna be her future husband okay so before we leave out the house she get a FaceTime. Well, she FaceTimed him. And, again, cannot see what he looks like. She never said his name. She just started talking. Like, she never said, like, oh, hey, blah, blah, blah. And then started talking. She just started talking, right? So, I'm seeing her smile and blush at the phone. So, I'm smiling at her smiling because I just think this is so cute. So, she's talking to the guy. And in my head, I'm like, he sounds so familiar. Like, he sounds so familiar. But... He also has, like, a thick South Florida accent. So, a lot of people sound like that. So, I'm not even putting two and two together. I'm just thinking, like, he sounds very familiar. Like, I've heard this this voice or this accent before. But I'm not thinking who it is or remember, like, who I'm thinking about or nothing like that. So, she get off the phone. I'm just like, was that the dude? She was like, yes, I'm so excited. Like, oh, my gosh, he looks so good. Like, I'm so excited. Like, he gonna be here, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm just like, yes, bitch, we gonna get your man tonight. We gonna get him. 
So, let me pause the story right here so I can give y'all a side story because I be wanting everything to make sense so nobody's confused, right? So, before I started working at this job, I had another job. And this was when I was, you know, like, fresh back on the dating scene and blah, blah, blah. Tinder to be exact, right? Hold on, my bracelet just popped open. So, um, I had matched with this guy. And we're going to call him Micah, and we are going to call his homeboy B. So, Micah and B. I met with Micah, and off rip, it was just already giving, like, friend vibes. Like, I was not romantically attracted to him at all. Like, after I met him, like, in person, because I found out that the, the my old job, his job was right next to it. So, he would, like, come in, like, on his lunch break or, like, you know, just come in and, like, mess with me. We would just be, like, talking and laughing and shit like that. It was so homey vibes that, like, he put me on with his homeboy. Like, I was not even, like, a little bit attracted to Micah in that way. Like, you you cool and everything. You cool for somebody else in that way, right? So, he put me on with his homeboy, B. Again, I tried to talk to B, like, in that way. And it was cool for a little minute. And we was talking and texting. But, and we, like chilled like a couple times but it just he had like too much drama going on and I'm just like I don't even want the drama I don't even want a relationship like right now so I think I'm better off just being your friend right now and that'll be okay because you got a lot going on so it was just you know like again friend zone and we never like did nothing like lick stick suck kiss nothing like nothing ever went on with us but we would still, like, we, as in me, B, and Mike, we were all still, like, you know, keep in contact every now and then. Like, we would check up on each other and shit like that. But at this point, I had not talked to them in, like, a couple months, like, a few months. So, B, well, let me not say that too fast. Okay, so, let's go back to present time. I just want y'all to know who Mike and B was. Okay, so, walking out the house and, um... Yeah, I'm just telling her, like, I'm a trail, y'all, whatever, whatever. And one thing I hate, one thing I hate so much is when you following somebody. Like, y'all so like, I don't know where I'm going. I'm following you. I don't have nothing in my GPS. And you decide that you want to become a professional race car driver. Why are we dipping in and out of lanes? Why are we jumping three lanes of traffic going 95 miles per hour? My little Mazda could not keep up. It's not supposed to keep up. I'm not doing a dash with you. No, I'm not. So I call her. I'm just like, can you just tell me the address? Because I can't keep up with you. She was like, I'm driving fast. Girl, yes, you are. You're driving really fast, actually. I don't I don't want no parts. So she gave me the address. And for some reason, I got there before them. I don't know if I took a shortcut or what. But they finally get there. And we waiting on the guys to pull up, right? So... She got, like, all four of her car doors open. She got the music turned up. We vibing. We danced and whatever. We out there for, like, a little minute. And then she FaceTimed one of them, and they didn't answer. So she was like, what? She was just like, let's just go in. They know where to come. They know where we're going to be at, blah, blah, blah. Because we was a little, like, crunch for time because this was a 21 and up club. But Nisha knew the bouncer or whatever. So he was just going to, like, get us in just you know like without being old enough or whatever like that but he was finna leave soon so we had to catch him like while he was still you know like at the job okay so we go in the club and we were in a section technically but i don't want y'all to think it's like a regular section with like couches we were in a booth it was like a long circular booth that can fit probably like i don't know like 10 to 12 people comfortably right so we get there, and y'all know how, like, in the sections is couches, but you don't never, like, sit regular, like, on the couch. Like, you sit on top of the couch. Like, your feet is where the seats are, and then you sit on top of the couch. So, that's how we was, like, in the booth. We were sitting on top of the booth. And, again, it's just giving, like, standoffish because, you know, like, normally when a group of girls are, like, together, y'all all, like, you know, walk in together, sit together. Like, y'all look like y'all are together. We did not look like we were together. It just looked like we were just in the same booth because I'm sitting like on the end. Not like on the end where like I'm going to fall off or nothing. But I'm sitting like closest to the door. 
it's like a good amount of space in between me and one of Nisha homegirls and then Nisha and then the other two on the other side of her. So I'm just like, okay, like whatever. I don't know why you invited me out. I thought you said your homegirls was cool, but it's, it's just not giving like, nobody was like talking to me. Nobody was like asking me like nothing. Granted, I wasn't talking either, but that's because I'm just matching energy. Like I'm just matching what I walked into in an apartment. So why would I go out of my way to be all friendly to you when you you know what i'm saying like i don't know again not trying to make a big deal out of it because i don't care that much i'm just i'm just telling y'all like what was going on so we probably there for like 10 15 minutes and i see these group of guys walking up and i'm like hold on because i know that ain't who i think it is so he what did i say i was naming the guys b and micah i almost just said this man real name which, I mean, I could, because it's really not that big of a deal, and he might see this video and comment and then tell, reveal his real identity, because he do shit like that. But anyway, so, I see this group of guys, like, walking up, and I'm like, I know that ain't who I think it is. I know that's not who I think it is. And you could tell, like, when we locked eyes, he was thinking, like, the same thing. Like, I know that's not who I think it is. So, he was like... Lauren, what are you doing here? I'm just like, Micah, what are you doing here? Like, I didn't know that these were your friends, da da da. So we hug each other, right? And it was like one of those hugs where, like, you know, you hug somebody and, like, y'all rock, like, back and forth for a second. It was like one of those, like, oh my gosh, I ain't seen you in a minute. Like, what's up? So before I could even ask, like, okay, I see you, because him and B was like, thick as thieves like if you seen one you seen the other i never ever seen them like not with each other so before i could even ask because michael was like really tall and like big before i could even ask like where be at he stepped to the side because he was behind my guy didn't see him he was like oh, i know this ain't who i think it is so we get the hug and we chopping it up i'm just like oh my gosh like i ain't seen y'all in a minute what's up i'm asking michael if he still work at the job he was like no he transferred he a manager now i'm asking b is he still in school which obviously like you still be in school i ain't like not talk to you in like years it's just been like a couple months i'm just you know just small conversation whatever so they sit down or whatever and we chopping it up and they was like who you here with so i'm like oh me and nisha work together and she invited me out so they was just like wow that's a small world like i didn't even know y'all knew each other i'm just like i know y'all knew each other and they was just like yeah we childhood friends like we know all of them like all our lives like we've been friends for years blah blah, blah. cool so now now y'all now that b is in my face this is who nisha was on facetime with because remember i said it's like a very like recognizable voice like he doesn't sound like a lot of people like the accent yes but like the deepness of his voice like i just i'm just like <sighs> i'm not because i'm not thinking like oh shit like i don't want to tell her like we because it was not like that like we yeah we used to text and stuff but it's not like that and nisha is not my friend to where like i feel like i owe her no loyalty to tell you like oh we was like no we just you just cool you invited me out like that's why i don't want the lines to get blurred right so immediately i knew okay this is the guy that she is crushing on which i'm still fine with being your wing woman and it's gonna be a little easier now because i know the nigga like i know you i could definitely put you on like that's what i'm thinking right so the other guys um come in the booth and micah is just like introducing me like oh this the homie this lauren lauren this homeboy one homeboy two homeboy three shit like that blah 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 cool so we just sitting there talking they go and they say hey to um the rest of the girls we just in the vibe in the vibe in the booth vibing right so me b and micah we just in our own little world we chopping it up we talking about people we laughing we giggling we i'm having a good time i'm having a good time i don't i don't know i'm having a good time so nisha walk over there and you could just tell she just had the stankest attitude bro so she come over there and she had like a little drink oh i meant to say before they got there too y'all we had went to the bar and i guess because like this was a 21 and up which you don't get ID'd at the bar anyways. Never mind. We went to the bar and uh, I got like a little mixed drink. And I was just fine with sipping on that for the rest of the night. Because like I said, like I was driving. I wasn't trying to do too much. So we all had mixed drinks. 
So Nisha come over there, she's sipping on her drink, and she was like, how y'all know each other? So then I was just, you know, telling her like, oh, I match with Micah on Tinder, and da da da, da and it didn't go nowhere, and yeah, and then he introduced me to B, and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm really, like, telling her, like, the story. So she was just like, mm. Oh, okay. I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, like what? Like, what happened? <laughs> so she said like mm, okay and then just like I don't want to say she rolled her eyes but she rolled her eyes and turned around and walked away so I'm just like maybe I should not have said that Micah introduced me to be like I don't know what she, what you wanted me to like I don't know so then Micah goes like Oh, here she go. Here she go. She finna start up tonight. And then B was like, man, I don't got time for that shit tonight. So I'm just like, okay, so I'm assuming that like, you know, that Nisha is feeling you because that's what she's been telling me. And I didn't know who you like, I didn't know that you were you until like right now. Like she never told me like who you was, your name, nothing. So I didn't even know that it was you, but you know that she feeling you, right? <laughs> And the way Nisha was explaining it to me was that she had a crush on him, but she was just always too scared to tell him. Like, she didn't want their friendship to be ruined by telling him that she wants to be more than friends, right? So I'm thinking he just is oblivious to all of this. Like, like I don't know. So I'm just like, okay, maybe y'all do. So I'm just like, so what's up with y'all? Like, what's up with y'all? He's like, what's up with me and who? I'm like, you and Nisha, he like nothing. I'm like, why are you saying like that? Like, you, like she likes you. Like, she, you know, like she got a crush on you, whatever. So he was just like, I know she been feeling like that for years. And I always told her, like, it's never going to be that. Like, we never going to be more than friends. She always do this whenever we come outside. Like, she be cock blocking or she just be doing a lot. Like, I don't got time for that tonight. I'm trying to have a good time. I'm not trying to argue with nobody, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, wait, so... You know that she likes you and you just don't like her back. So this was the, this was the dynamic. Because I'm just kind of spoil it a little bit just to say this. Nisha thought I wanted B. I don't want B. B don't want me. And B don't want you. Okay? Keep that in mind. So he like, yeah, I know that. She done tried to get with me like a whole bunch of times like over the years. Like she just won't let it go. Like I've had girlfriends before. I've had girls that I've been talking to that she's messed up because she just, she act crazy. She think I'm her man, blah, blah, blah. Nisha didn't tell me any of this. I'm like, wow, actually that makes so much sense why she just came over here and acted like that because she probably thinks that like me and you got something going on, especially because I said Michael was the one that put us on like a long time ago. So he was like, man, I'm not even trying to be on that tonight. Like, I'm not worried about it. Like, y'all want some shots? So I hesitated because, like I said, I'm trying to just sip on this little mix your drink and not do too much. Like, I'm not trying to do too much. So I'm just like, um, no, y'all go ahead. Like, blah, blah, blah. They peer pressured me into getting this little shot. So I'm just like, if you give me a shot, you got to give me, like, some water too because... I'm not trying to be on that like I'm so he was like okay I'm gonna get you some water and like if anything we can go get food after this like it's no big deal blah 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 cool so I feel like Nisha kept trying to like helicopter our conversation because we was really like okay so like the other guys I, for, I forgot the other guys was even like sitting here they would like join in the conversation like every now and then but they was like back and forth like in and out of the booth like talking to people that they knew they was talking to girls like they was just doing their own thing and the other girls and Nisha they was just sitting there the whole time like nobody was dancing they, like they just on their phones like making snapchats like making snapchats like this recording in the club sitting there drinking and then that's it but like we actually like talk I mean like we weren't like break dance in the middle of the club or nothing like that but we still you know like just sitting there having a good time like time is like passing by like that's how much fun we having right she kept trying to like <clears throat> helicopter our conversation so like if i would laugh too loud because i'm one of the people i'm the type of person like when i'm laughing i'm like the lean on you hit you 
tap you, smack you in the face. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm one of them type of laughers. Like, I'm leaning all over. Like, I'm just doing the most. I don't know why I do that, but I just do, especially if something's really, really funny. So, when I would do shit like that, she would come over here like, what y'all over here laughing about? And I'm just like, girl, nothing. Like, look at that man over there with them shoes. Just leaning to the side. I don't know. Like, we just, I don't know. We just talking about everything. So, she would just be like, mm. Oh, okay. Do you want to sit down and join the conversation? Like, what? So I'm just like, what's wrong with you, girl? Like, you good? She was like, yeah, I'm good. You good? But the way she said you good, it was like... I just feel the animosity, and I don't know this side of Nisha. I've never... Like, me and Nisha have never felt out about nothing. Me and Nisha never argued on a job. Me and Nisha... It's always been so good between us. So, like... Where this energy is coming from, I really hope it's not behind a man because that would be very unfortunate for you. Like, whatever this animosity that you think you have with me, please don't let it be behind a man. Please don't let it be behind a man that's B. Please do not let it be. Please. I'm very confused. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. Like, I'm just trying to make sure you good because it seemed like you, like, in a bad mood or something. Like, you irritated. So she was just like, no, I'm not irritated, but we finna go to the bathroom. You want to come? I'm just like, no, I'm okay. Like, I don't gotta, I don't gotta use the bathroom. So she was just like, okay, but you don't, like, want to walk with us to the bathroom? And, y'all, I could have went to the bathroom. I could have, but it's just like, why would I want to be around you? Your friends was already acting weird. They being standoffish. They acting like they don't want to sit next to me and include me in nothing, do nothing. Now you acting weird. No, I don't want to go to the bathroom. So she was just like, so you just going to sit here by yourself in the booth? So then, here go Micah asked, because Micah is a, a type of person, he don't take nothing serious. He's going to make a joke out of everything. Like, especially if, like, you being serious and you being petty and mad about something that's so, like, it's really not even that deep. He's going to make a joke. So he was like, she not by herself, she, she with us. So he was like, she not by herself, she sitting with us. So that, he should not have said that. He really should not have said that. Because that irritated her even more. So she just stormed off like, okay, whatever. And just stormed off. So I'm just like, why did you say that? Like, why did you say that? Why did you say that? She. So then I was just like, she probably don't want me sitting next to her boyfriend. She probably don't want me sitting next to her boyfriend. And here go be getting mad. Man, don't call that girl my girlfriend. I'm not her man. I'm not her boyfriend. So, okay. So some time go on and come back from the bathroom. And Nisha kept drinking. Which I don't know how that was going to work. Like maybe one of her friends was going to drive her car back to her apartment. I don't know. But she kept drinking. So at this point she is a drunk y'all. She is drunk. So I'm not even going 100% fault her for this. Because you know some people do turn up really bad whenever they are drunk. And okay. So she's getting drunk. Okay so let me paint the picture for y'all. So like I said we are sitting up on top of the booth. B is on one side of me, Micah is on the other side of me, right? So B is like, you know guys like sit with their legs open. B is like leaned over like in the booth with his elbows like on the top of his legs, right? Like leaned over. Okay, cool. So I forgot what song it came on, but it was like a slow song, like a slow, grindy, like nasty song. So Nisha must have been feeling herself. And like I said, all my girl needed was a little bit of liquor. Cur what? All my girl needed was a little bit of liquid courage, and that was just gonna do it. That's what I'm thinking. Like, you just need liquid courage to go up and say something to this man, but not, now I know you have been saying something to him. He just don't want you. So, she come over there, and, <laughs> and she gets, like, in between his legs. So, she's, like kneeled down like in the booth because the booth was kind of tall so she's like kneeled down like in between his legs and she like touches like the back of his neck and she like whispering something in his ear right grant said b did not like move out the way he didn't like say like don't whisper in my ear like he didn't like move his face away like he let her say whatever she said i don't know what the girl said she whispering in his ear and next thing you know she just started to try to like straddle him with a dress on i like y'all i don't know what was going on because when like you know when you have like it was like a, a tube dress so like you know when you like 
try to sit down like that like your like your ass is gonna come out so she tried to straddle him it was just so like uncomfortable to watch because she was kneeling in the booth then she stood up in the booth so now like you know like you standing up like in the club so people are like obviously gonna like be looking because like what are you doing standing up like on top of the booth like this so she tried to like straddle him and he was not like leaning back like moving his arms from the top of his legs like leaning back letting her do it so it was it was just like very awkward because she was trying to like do it with the little bit of space that she had i don't know if y'all picturing like what i'm trying to say but it was just very embarrassing because she tried to straddle him and then her ass came out and then her friends were just like, Nisha, Nisha. And then he was just sitting there, like, not letting her. It was just a lot. So Michael was just like, you good? You good? So she was like, yeah, I'm good. Like, why you keep saying that? Why y'all keep saying that? Like, I'm good. Like, B, you acting real different tonight. Like, you acting real funny. You acting real funny tonight. So he was like, what you mean? Like, what you mean I'm acting funny? She was like, I don't know. You acting real funny tonight. Like, I don't know who been in your ear, but you acting real funny. And I'm just sitting there like, you don't know who been in his ear. Well, I've technically been in his right ear all night, but not not about you. So, so I'm just like, I really want to say something. But I know this girl is intoxicated, so I'm going to just let it go. But this is going to be the one and only time that I'm going to let it go. Because if you come over here trying to insinuate or start or anything like that, I'm going to really hurt your feelings. So... She walk away or whatever. She was just like, I don't like that. You acting real funny. You acting real funny. So, whenever she walked away, he was just like, see, here go that bullshit. This is what I'm talking about. Like, she always do this. Like, you see what I mean now? Like, you see what I mean? Like, she always do this. I'm so sick of this shit. Like, blah, blah, blah. So, a couple more minutes, like, go by. And then she come back over there. So, she was like, so what y'all finna do? Because it was getting, like, close to time to go or whatever. Because clubs here... Well, I don't know if it's all of Florida, but I know clubs here, like, let out is like 2 a.m. or 2.30 or something like that. So, it was getting close to, like, time to go. So, um, what was I saying? So, yeah, she was like, so what y'all finna do? What y'all finna do? And I'm just like, like, I don't know, like, what do you want to do? Like, after this, like, we could go get food or something like that. She was like, no, what y'all finna do? So, I'm just like, what you mean? She like, you been over here with them all night long. I invited you out. You ain't tried to come and be with me and my friends. You just over here in these niggas' faces like all night long. And I'm just like, why would I want to be in you and your weird ass? I'm saying this out loud. You and your weird ass homegirls' faces all night when y'all been standoffish to me. Like, since I even came to your apartment. Like, why would I want to be in y'all space and y'all treating me like this? So she was like, oh, so now we weird. I'm just like, yeah, that is weird behavior. So she was just like, I just find it funny how you just met these niggas and you all up in their faces. I told you about B. You been all up in his face all night long. I was like, these is not some random niggas. Like, I already knew them. You just didn't know that I knew them and I didn't know that they knew you. Like, these is not just some random niggas off the side of the street, number one. And number two, I was like, I don't want this man. I do not want him. Like, I do not want him. Like, that's not my fault that... You feel some type of way because I've been sitting next to him all night. Like, I'm literally, like, saying this. So, now I'm getting irritated. So, she was just like, well, I just want to say if one of y'all go home with her tonight, y'all ain't getting that because she told me she was on the second day of her period. So, now, what she telling me? is um okay here's my thing right here's my thing number one yeah i am we all go through it you're did you did you think that you were gonna em embarrass me by saying that two why is that anybody's business what did y'all just see? I really hope that nobody just heard my stomach rumble and tumble just now. Anyways, why is that anybody's business? And I just, like, mentioned that to you. Like, I called her before. I went over to her house, and I'm just like, yeah, girl, like, I need this because, like, I'm on my period, and I don't want, like, to be in the bed with, like, cramps. Like, I said some shit like that. 
Why is that anybody bus anybody's business? And number two, if we supposed to be friends, which I told y'all, no, we not. But like, you introducing me as your friend. So we supposed to be friends. Why would you just say that in front of some niggas like that? Like, what did you think? Like, I'm so confused. What? I was so, so now... I'm not even using the fact that you're like intoxicated, you're drunk, whatever, because you want to be funny. And the thing about me is don't joke with me until you sure that you can take when I start joking with you. Because you might think you funny, but I'm going to show you how hilarious I can get in this bitch clown behavior. So I'm just like, you just tried to embarrass me in front of some niggas like me was like, see, you doing the most like you doing a lot, man. Watch out, watch out. So I'm just like. The fact that you even just started acting like this behind some guys is like, I'm shocked at this because you never, ever, ever did no shit like this. I was like, if you think they want to go home with a bitch who got a top hat on the top of her head. I'm talking about her wig, y'all. Yeah, I went there. You think that somebody want to go home with a bitch who got a top hat on the top of her head? I see the magic tricks coming out of the wig. The shit is sitting so high on the top of your head. I'm surprised it didn't hit the top of the door frame. Whenever we came in this bitch. Like you really want to go there with me? Like don't play with me. Because the wig that you got on right now baby girl. I could go get you a brand new wig from the beauty supply for $25.97. And it would look better than this shit. You look like you done had this shit since 1979. It doesn't matter how many times you try to throw that bitch back on. Change the side part. Change the middle part. Throw it into a ponytail. It's matted. It's tangled. It's straggly at the ends and it stinks. Let it go. Let it go. I don't know if this wig has sentimental value to you or some type of what. But you need to let go and let God lead you to the store to get a new one. Do not play with me. The wig is sitting so far on the back of your head. Your forehead makes you look like Little Bill. The edges that you are supposed to have are gone. Please do not play with me. Please do not play with me. So I'm just like, I'm over this shit. Like, I cannot believe that you really just tried to, like, what? What? Well, so I'm just like, I'm out of here. I'm asking, like, can one of y'all, like, walk me to my car? I'm out of here. Like, I'm cool on this. Like, I really cannot believe that this bitch really just tried to play me like that. Like, what? What? So, I'm gathering my stuff. They're like, yeah, we got you. So, when they get up, because them and the other two boys, like, rode together, all of them get up. So, the other boys was like, yeah, like, she always, like, on that fool ass shit. That's why we don't, like, really, like, coming out with them like that. Because she always doing something. Like, the night always end up with her, like, fighting with somebody, arguing with somebody. Like, she be getting into with her own friends. So I'm just like, I don't know this side of Nisha. Like, granted, this is the first time that, oh, excuse me. This is the first time that. We have hung out together, like, outside of work, like, for real. Other than, like, getting food, but that don't count. So, I don't know this Nisha. Like, I don't know this. I Like, I don't know this about her. So, I'm just like, wow. So, they walk me to my car. And when all of us leave, her and her friends decided they wanted to leave. Which I don't give a fuck about, but whatever. So, they behind us. And she like, see, this is the type of shit that I be talking about. Be you always trying to play in my face, but be in my phone. He was like, I be in your phone. I be in your phone. No, bitch, you be in my phone. Like, really called her a bitch. He was like, no, bitch, you be in my phone. Stop trying to make it seem like we together. I'm not your nigga. I'm not your nigga. I'm not your nigga. He kept saying that. I'm not your nigga. I'm not your nigga. So... We walk in, we walk in or whatever. And I'm just like, wow, this shit is so crazy to me. So she keep getting loud. So B turn around and walk in like their direction. So we keep walking, but I'm turning around like looking to see like what he said to her. So like he grabbed her arm, not in like an aggressive way, but he like grabbed her arm and like pulled her to the side. He said whatever he said to her and then walked away. So her and her homegirls was just like standing in that one spot for like a second and B came up. And, you know, like, kept walking with us. So, I'm just like, what did you say to her? And he was just like, I just told her, stop doing this shit or we not going to be friends no more, like, at all. So, I'm just like, I'm surprised you would even still want to be friends with her, like, and she 
act like this like it's normal behavior so he was just like yeah i'm just used to it you learn to just stop paying people attention after a while and blah 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 so whatever we get back to the parking lot and we standing at my car whatever just, just talking about it and shit like that and um yeah that was the end of the night that was like you want to go get some food and i was just like no i'm straight like i really just want to go home and just forget that this just happened like that's just like i don't like when girls act like that like stop trying to act funny in front of these guys like a nigga who like y'all nine times out of ten when girls act like this the guy don't even be wanting her to begin with and even if he did want you the fact that you acting like this in front of him he's not gonna want you anymore like i don't want him he don't want me and he don't want you also what i forgot to mention was we was so cool like me <clears throat> me b and michael we were so cool even the other homeboys like i was trying to like invite girls to the sections for them like they was like looking at girls i'm like okay tell me which one you want i'm gonna go say some say something to them like you know like charm them and bring them back to the section like i do not want this man at all not even a little bit not even on some drunk shit not even on some i'm just like no i don't want him i do not want him and he don't want you. So, it's like a lose. It's a lose-lose. Like, y'all, I just, I hate pick-me's. Like, I really hope you get picked. I really, 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 really do. Really, honestly, truly. Like, what are you doing? Talk about, well, if one of y'all is going home with her tonight, y'all ain't gonna get none. Because, like, the nerve of you to think that I was even going home with anybody. Like, what? Y'all, I can't make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up. Like, girl. So, after that, should I make this into another story and tell y'all what happened after this? Or should I say it now? I think I'm going to save that for, like, a whole nother story. So, tell me if you want to know what happened after this as far as, like, our working relationship. Because Nisha started getting beside herself after this and... I don't give the I don't give a fuck about the job that much, baby, for you to be playing with me like that. I don't care about this job that much. So I think I'm gonna make that into another story time. So if you made it to the end of the video, leave me a comment down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Turn on your post bell notifications. And if you ever want to send me your own confession or story time, the email to send it to is in the description box below. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow for a brand new video.